Even though general chemistry involves a lot of calculations, you'll find that the vast majority of those calculations is simply converting between, between one unit and another. And the most common way that students are taught how to do unit conversions is dimensional analysis. Sometimes it's referred to as the factor label method, but essentially it's a technique that's not that much different than a common shortcut kids are taught when they're first taught how to multiply fractions. For example, you multiply two-thirds by one-half. Most kids are taught that when the twos are across from each other like this, when one's in the numerator, the other's in the denominator, that they cancel out and so you get one-third or let's say you were multiplying two-thirds times three remember a whole number can be written as that number over one in fraction form so again this time the threes are across from each other so you get two over one or two Dimensional analysis does the same thing, but um, instead of focusing on the numbers, you focus on the units and you try to get rid of unwanted units. For example, let's say you got a car going 60 miles per hour. And you want to know how many miles it's traveled after two hours. So you write that as a fraction. You get 60 miles per hour, per one hour. <clears throat> and most people would look at this automatically and say, okay, you go 60 times 2. But the reason you multiply is because when you multiply it by 2, and we'll write it as a fraction, the hour unit cancels out just like the threes and the twos did over here. So the only unit left is the unit you want, which is miles. Let's look at another example. Let's say you have something that weighs 45 kilograms and you want to know how much that weighs in units of pounds. Now, common conversion is that one pound is 0.454 kilograms. So you got 45 kilograms, which again you can write as um, a fraction, that number over one. We want to multiply it by a conversion factor, or by our conversion factor, where the kilogram unit cancels out. So that means, since kilogram unit's on the top here, it needs to be on the bottom. So it's 0.454 kilograms for every one pound. Kilogram unit drops out, we're left with the unit we want. And as far as multiplying and dividing goes, if it's on top of the fraction bar, you multiply. When it's on the bottom, you divide. So we're taking 45, dividing it by 0.454, and that gives us 99.1 pounds. One last example. Let's look at 15.2 nanometers and convert that to centimeters. So this is all metric and one nanometer is equal to 10 to the negative 9 meters. One centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative 2 meters. So we'll use these two conversion factors to go between these two units. So we start with the unit we're given, which is nanometers. We can use our first conversion factor to cancel out the nanometer unit. 
Again, we'll put nanometer on the bottom so it cancels out. Now, if we stop here, we're going to be in units of meters, but we want to convert meters to centimeters because that's the unit we're looking for. So we use that second conversion factor. Meters is on top here, so it needs to be on the bottom. Again, the meter unit drops out. Now we're at the unit we want. So now you go back and you look to see where you multiply and where you have to divide. So it looks like we got to multiply by 10 to the negative 9, divide by 10 to the negative 2, and that gives us 1.52 times 10 to the negative 6. So remember, with dimensional analysis, you're focusing on the units first. And once you have the units taken care of, then you go back and you see you know, when you have to multiply and when you have to divide. And that way, when you get to later examples that actually involve chemistry, because if you notice, there's no chemistry in any of these examples, you'll be able to handle those calculations better because, again, the chem calculations are the same types of problems, but you got chemistry units thrown in. Don't let the chemistry units throw you. It's still just a matter of converting one unit to another. And you'll see that a lot in some of the later videos that we do.